Hi, good uh, good afternoon. I guess it's it's afternoon now uh, here in in uh, sunny Guadalajara, which uh, is not always sunny at this time of year. We have rain every day, but we're early in the afternoon, and there is no rain at this time. Okay, this video production, this recording of videos is getting uh, a little easier for me every day. And I have prepared um, a little exercise for remembering the alphabet in English. And first I'm going to try to call my friend Bob in Texas this morning. I want to get a hold of Bob on my phone. I want to talk to him. Seems like Bob is not answering. Bob no contesta. Creo que es posible que, que tenga una, uh, una resaca. No sé qué piensas porque or, uh, if you watched yesterday, Bob Bob was talking to me and he invited me to his house. He said he had an entire refrigerator full of Dos Equis. And I said, no, I can't come. So I, I imagine, I, I suspect that, come on, Bob. I suspect that Bob, um, Bob drank all of that Dos Equis and Maybe this is why he's not answering. So I guess uh, one more ring, one more ring. We'll give up. No, Bob. We're not going to talk to Bob today. So, vamos. Here, next, then, is the alphabet, which I will have to do by myself in a, a little poem, which I wrote to help you remember. A is for apple, B is for door, C is for car, and D is for door. E is for extra, F is for fair, G is for guest, and H is for hair. I like injection, J as in jinx, K as in kitchen, L as in X, M as in mother, N as in near, O as in other, and P as in peer. Q as in question, R as in rare, S as in sugar, and T as in tear. U as in underwear. V as in venustrophobia, W as in winter, X as in xenophobia. And I'll finish this up with two words. I only need two more. Y as in yellow and Z as in zebra. So there's more than one reason for the words I chose for this childlike little poem for the alphabet. First, I wanted to find words that rhyme because I think that a poem could help you remember how to pronounce the letters in English. It could help you, maybe it won't. The poem was easy, of course, until I got to the letters. X and D, <laughs> as you can see, it was difficult to find a letter that starts, a word that starts with the letter V. That rhymes a word that starts with the letter X. But Google is my friend, and Google helped. And while I'm searching out words that rhyme, I saw also that we could show I saw that we could demonstrate here we can point out to you some big problems with spelling in English. 
problems in orography. Here's a, a good cognate word. Hay muchos problemas en la ortografía de inglés, del inglés. Y vamos a revisar eso ahora. Hay problemas que no en inglés. Y solo tienes que memorizar estas cosas sobre la ortografía para poder leer y hablar inglés. It's a problem. And by the way, if you sometimes continue to have trouble remembering how to say the alphabet in English, how to pronounce the alphabet in English, I say, it's okay. Don't worry. Not a problem. ¿Sabes por qué yo tengo el mismo problema en español? Pero puedo comunicar bastante bien en español y para mí no es un problema. No es un problema muy grande y creo que para ti no va a ser, no va a ser un problema grande. So, from my alphabet poem, here are some rhyming words. And I'm going to show you how they're spelled, how they're spelled and how they're pronounced. Because uh, these things are uh, difficult in English. If two different words, boar, which means a male pig, un cerdo, when it's spelled B-O-A-R, and boar, which means a boring person, a person who's no fun to be with, B-O-R-E. They're both pronounced the same, boar. Those are just examples. And out of the words I chose for the alphabet, here are some similar ones. Um, and even an additional one, I add, additional two that I added. Near rhymes with peer, which rhymes with peer, which rhymes with beer. So you can see that this E sound is formed by E-A, it's formed by E-I. In other examples, you see that it's formed by I-E. It's also formed by E-E. -E. All four of these words rhyme near, peer, peer, beer, but bear, B-E-A-R, is spelled with the same sequence of vowels as near, N-E-A-R. And near does not rhyme with bear. So you might ask, why? Is there a rule? And the answer is no. There is not a rule. Words using the same sequence of vowels. I just thought of them. I did not include them on this slide. Tear, T-E-A-R, is pronounced tear and it means romper. Solo en el sentido de estos ropas de, o de telas. Y usualmente refiere a But that's T E A R, tear. You tear your clothing, you tear the fabric in the seat of your car. However, there's another word in English which is pronounced tear. And how do you spell tear? T E A R. What you mean and how it's spelled depends on the context. Tear is pronounced tear when you mean crying. Cuando quieres decir lágrimas, tears. 
And finally, there could be some new vocabulary. I'm sure there's some new vocabulary in my poem. I'm going to go back to this slide because this is new vocabulary for me. I have two English words here that I just learned myself. I learned them because I was looking for words that rhyme to make my poem. V as in Venustrophobia is the fear of beautiful women. Does anyone else have a fear of beautiful women? Uh, some men do, including me, sometimes myself included, A and maybe some women fear other women who are extremely beautiful. But anyway, <laughs> Don't worry, you will not be using the word venustrophobia. And I believe that word probably has to do with Venus, the goddess of love. This is my suspicion. I don't know. The other word, which begins with X, I have heard it before, but I don't think I've ever used it in conversation. Xenophobia. Xenophobia is the fear of of strangers, that is, the fear of people you don't know, the fear of people you have not met. It was a new word for me. Also, you can add it to your vocabulary for fun. If you want to, you can impress your friends by explaining to them in English what is vitrophobia. But you know what? This video is getting long. Let's talk about some other vocabulary from this little poem in the next video. Until then, thank you for hanging out. Maybe Bob will be here next time. I'm not sure. It depends on if he wakes up from his hangover, which oh, I don't know. If he had a hangover, I just, I know Bob drinks a lot of beer. So I'll see you the next time around right here on Learning American English with me.